Hello. I'm giving away my house for free in the future. And uh, I'm gonna live in the forest in a dome shaped green house made of uh, plastic. That's my future because an hour ago I ordered greenhouse film for the windows and uh, I'm gonna replace the windows with greenhouse film and remove the rotted wood and glass and just replace it with the greenhouse film so this is the first step this is my f always the a little tiny step is all you need to set things in motion because once I do this with a little piece of plastic to cover the windows I'm gonna continue with that make bigger and bigger changes more and more of my home will be covered in greenhouse film so you see all it takes it is the little tiny step in the beginning just like when I first bought two banana plants two and a half years ago I just bought two little tiny banana plants and now I have almost 200 of them so the beginning step is the most important step because that is the step that sets things in motion just like now with my first step with the little of the greenhouse fabric to cover the windows that itself will set things in motion that I get that experience of covering something with the greenhouse plastic and later I can cover something bigger and bigger and bigger you see it's just it's just gonna continue like that until I have my entire home covered in greenhouse fabric so this was the first step and I see myself living in the in the forest somewhere in 100% greenhouse plastic that's what I see myself in the future you don't have to have a wooden house that will rot I, I just don't see the point now to live in a wooden house why not just live in a greenhouse so I can see one negative thing is that is a theft people are gonna just cut cut open the plastic with a knife and go in and steal something so that's the only negative thing I can think about but the positive thing is that it's cheaper because replacing a window is like three thousand dollars and a little piece of plastic twenty dollars so you see big price difference there if you do the same thing with the walls instead of having those wooden walls you have sheets of plastic and that's what the greenhouses have they have two sheets two layers of greenhouse plastic with air in between that will keep the temperature and the positive thing is that the sun is gonna heat up the greenhouse because the sun will enter through the transparent plastic you see why would you need to have why should you have wooden walls that will block the sun and then use extra extra heating to cover cover up the floor in the house design it will just cost extra money an extra electric bill just live in a greenhouse okay and uh, the problem i see here is in the summer it's gonna get really hot like 30 40 degrees celsius inside the greenhouse in the summer 
so that's gonna be slightly an issue there but if because I live in the north it's not gonna be that warm okay that would be a problem if we live, we live in Africa or somewhere where it's really sunny and you have a greenhouse there it might become 50 degrees but also you really don't have to have any kind of a full coverage of your home in Africa because it doesn't get cold anyway there's no winter in Africa near the equator so you just don't need to think about the insulation and stuff you can have it open you don't need to have it closed but here where I live northern Sweden I need to have it fully insulated and closed without any gaps okay and even in the summer I would just open up the, the plastic a little bit then we have that kind of a zipper that you unzip and fold out a piece of the greenhouse in the summer that will act like a window and they actually have that in those uh, tunnel greenhouses that you can buy for cheap like uh, three hundred dollars they have that tunnel tunnel shaped greenhouses with a zipper for the windows you can open up if it becomes too hot that's that's a kind of a home I would like to have in the future maybe have separate tunnels for different areas in my home like I have a big main tunnel for my plants and then have a little tiny tunnel for my living place where I have my computer but m my dream would be a really huge dome shaped like that will cover the trees and I was thinking about the support the support the beams for the greenhouse fabric like you have those giant pillars that are that are holding up the greenhouse like a tent okay so that would be expensive but look where I am right right now the trees can act like those pillars you see you can just put the greenhouse on top of those trees and they will support the plastic so I don't need to pay extra money for those uh, for any kind of support because the nature is giving them naturally in the shape of those trees I just need to get up there to the top of, of those trees to place the greenhouse fabric to attach it attach it some way okay and when I can do that I will have my own house in the forest that is covered in a greenhouse and actually this was I had a dream when I was a kid I didn't know what it, that dream meant back then I was about maybe 13 years old I had a dream that I lived in a forest in a tent the entire forest was covered in a tent that's the kind of a vision I had back then and I think it's gonna become reality So today I took the first step in uh, realizing uh, that dream to make it real in the future. Little tiny piece of plastic is going to become bigger and bigger and I'll be covering more and more of the forest with uh, the plastic and I will, I'm going to live inside a bubble greenhouse bubble will be nice to live there that's gonna be the new community of the orgasm religion the new cult I'm creating and inside the bubble because there's no protection there's no locks in the doors anyone can enter thieves can enter inside I will have a vault with the audio system inside so there's a big 
big uh, concrete vault that is holding all the precious items like the hi-fi tweaks they will be there inside and outside people will walk naked so if thieves come in and try to rob clothes from the cult members they are not able to do so because everyone are naked anyway you see you see the positive thing here so nobody's gonna have any belongings inside the cult everyone will be naked without any anything the only precious items will be inside the vault which is fully locked and protected uh, everything around it around the vault will be just open for anyone to enter through the greenhouse uh, plastic just lift it up lift up the edge a little bit anyone can enter the, the community okay and what about the protection maybe dogs will protect because because there are no locks in this dome home this greenhouse dome won't have any kind of locks or security I have to rely on some other kind of protection like dogs who, who will attack maybe robots that will come in the future that will replace dogs with robots in the future okay so I just need some piece of land in the forest somewhere where my dream can become a reality and uh, forest in north of Sweden is cheaper than in the south so it's gonna be in the north where I'm going to where I'm going to buy the land I need a few acres for that I would like uh, 300 times 300 meters piece of land that should be enough for my greenhouse dome okay so that's my plan for the future we will see how we, how it will go so the only thing missing now is money for that but I'm gonna practice with the little pieces of sheets of plastic that I ordered to cover my windows with so that's a good start okay so i will go now i will see you next time goodbye